Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of London versus Drake. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day, Your Honor. Ms. London, just three weeks ago, you met Ms. Drake, who claims she is your biological sister. You admit her mother and your father were married, but believe Ms. Drake is claiming you are related just to get money from you and your other siblings. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Drake, you claim that you've always known that Neil London is your biological father and the plaintiff is your sister. You say Ms. London is the only person in her family who is denying paternity. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. London, you don't believe the defendant is your sister. Explain. I'm here today to find out if Nakai is, in fact, my biological sister. My father never, ever told me that she was. Had he told me, I would not be here. Mm-hmm. I met Nakai about, physically, about three weeks ago at my sister's party. I don't mean to be mean. She, she came into my life. I would have never looked for her. So when I met her, that gave me ammunition to say, hey, let's, let's move forward. Let's, let's do this. So, Ms. Drake, why now? Why do you enter their lives now, decades later? Okay, well, I am sick, Your Honor. And um, if my life was a turn for the wrong, because right now I'm fighting for my life with everything that's in me. Mm -hmm. And at this time in my life, I need my sisters and my brothers to get me through whatever God's journey he has for me. And that's why this is so important to me. And how did you reach back out to the London family. How did you find them? Well, a year ago, um, through another family member, I was told that Dolores was looking for me. I was so excited. We connected, and it was so um, warm and things like that. But when I met Kim, oh, it was a cold shoulder. I didn't... I didn't feel no warmness. Your Honor, it wasn't a cold shoulder. I I just felt like because of her situation, that made it even more important for us to know. Well, this is what I want to understand. If you could stand, please, Ms. London, and step over to the podium. (coughs) You were sitting on the defendant's side of the aisle. And when she was testifying, I could see the tears in your eyes as you looked at the woman you do believe is your, your biological sister. Yes, I do, Your Honor. And why do you believe that? Tell the court what you know. Well, um, I just remember, like, one day we were, um, my brothers were having a conversation and um, they was talking about Nakai. And I guess she was around about nine, maybe eight then. And it, it wasn't a long conversation. They just brought it up. And I was like, wow, I have a younger sister? I just couldn't believe it. Because... And so they brought it up to you? Yes. During what? Between just... the two of them, yes. They did? hmm And they said, I can't believe... You said, I can't believe I have this no, sister. No, I can't. And from there, did you all form a bond or you just never met? Well, over, no, we never met until like a year ago, Your Honor. I love her. I never turn her away for anything. And I love both of my sisters equally. I really <sighs> do. Well, one of your family members, Mr. Rashid London, submitted this statement to the court. This is Kimberly and Dolores' brother. I know my father married Tawana. He told me that they had a child together. I remember him telling me that I have a younger sister named Nakai. He was very serious about having a relationship with her and that he wanted us to have a relationship with her. (laughs) Why does that affect you so much to hear, Ms. Drake? Can you tell the court? Yes, I can, Your Honor, because... um... Neil was such an amazing father, and I feel like that maybe he knew that this day was going to come. I don't question my parents on the decisions that they made in their lives, but to hear that, oh, my God, whatever... However Neil felt, I mean, he knew I was his, and I said that right there, and uh, that's him. When you heard the statement, Ms. London, from your brother... How did it make you feel? I just don't know where to go other than where I stand. And, and, if, and if, I'm, if I'm wrong, then I'm, 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 maybe that's what it is. But I, I want to know if you're my sister. 
I'm like in the middle. All and right. it's like, I feel like I'm the only one that wants to know if, if she's my biological sister. You feel like everybody else has bought in and accepted and believes it, but you right. still have that reservation. I still have that. And you feel like you're standing on that reservation that by yourself. reservation. We're very different. Maybe we're different. And I want to address something that you said. You said that when you met me, you, you felt coldness. Well, probably whole in part is, is the fact that you came at me very strong. You were telling me about my father and then you, you were saying um, the things that you guys shared. But then when you then a week, what, a couple of days later, you, you asked me, you start sending me text messages for, for money and stuff like that. And, I, and I, was, I felt a little uncomfortable because she was calling me at work. And I, and I said, well, I can't answer my phone. And I said, at that moment, I said, I really have to know now if she is, in fact, my sister, because now it's getting to the point to where if you're asking me for money, then that, to me, that's a whole nother thing. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you submitted that message to the court, and you have, the message says, I need you to please send me $20. I have the cash app. I've already requested you. Did you send this cash app message, Ms. Drake? Yes, I did, Your Honor. Because at the time, um, when I called, I didn't have anybody to turn to. And um, actually, I was recently getting out of the hospital uh, for one of uh, my illnesses. And um, I needed money to wash my clothes because I had messed up my bed. And I didn't have anybody that I would, could ask. So I said, well, oh my, let me call my sister. And that's what it was all about, of me asking her for money. And so, Ms. London, it's $20. Why did that affect you so much? Because it's not a lot of it's money. It's not a lot. But it was... What was it about that it was request? The, it was a principle. I wanted to make sure she was my sister, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, $20 isn't, an, isn't a lot, but it's the principle. Because I feel like if you're asking me for... Uh, for $20, and that's not all she asked me for because she was saying how much she needed a, a bed and pillows and things like that. And I'm, 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 and in my mind, I'm like, okay, we got to get together. We got to get all these things for her. So you felt like if I open this drawbridge just a little bit, the water's going to come rushing in Blood and out. I'm going to be, be and feel responsible right. for a woman and I don't really know if she's my biological sister. Right. I'm trying to grasp it, but I just don't. All right. Well, Ms. Drake, yes, we Kiana. actually have your mother on the line. She was not able to join us in court today. Yes, Your Honor. But I have something I want to ask her. On the phone with the court is Tawana Barrett, mother of Nakai Drake. Ms. Barrett, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for being here. I want to ask you, Ms. Barrett, do you believe Neil is Nakai's biological father? No, I don't. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you believe that? Because uh, I was married to uh, Eugene Howard she knows better, too. You say she knows better. She should. What does that mean? Why should she? I wasn't in because with y'all. Because Eugene Howard is her daddy. Oh. And she never, she, never, she, she never called me a daddy. She called him by his name, Neil. She never called him daddy? Nope. What did she call the other man, Mr. Howard? She called him daddy. So, Miss Drake, hearing your mother mm -hmm. say this, this is not what you testified to in this courtroom. Yes, ma'am, but what I, what I will say is this. Maybe it could have been a time when Neil cheated on my mom Makes the same thing he did with your mom, and my, maybe she my, was in it. Maybe she no. was in a heated. Maybe she was heated and upset. But my mom and Neil both told me that he was my father, and everybody called me Mr. London's daughter. Remind you, Your Honor, I'm seven years old. Okay. Do you remember I the remember, other man? I remember them both. I was seven years old. Do you remember calling the other man Daddy? 
I called him Fox. That was his nick- nickname. I never called. I never called him Dad. I called him Fox. And, that and was... who was he to you? <laughs> Mama said that was my daddy too. So there it is. You can't have two daddies. Well, I did, and both of them took care of me. And but what I will say, Your Honor, with Eugene, with Neil London, I lived in a house with Neil London. My mom and bed, my mom and Neil bedroom was across the way from me. And Neil was that f- father figure. I can't give you not one memory with Eugene and my mom living together, as you could say, maybe uh, the mother and father figure. I only received that with Neil and my mom. Understood. So you do understand when you say Neil was your father figure, that is completely different than biological father. Well, neither, neither one of them are on the birth certificate, okay? But her dad, Eugene Howell, was at the hospital when I delivered him. Wow. See, I didn't even know I that. Didn't know that. I didn't either. know that either. I didn't even know nobody was with you, mama. You didn't know that either? I didn't either. I didn't know... No, I didn't even know that he was at the hospital. Well, like I said, well, he didn't sign a birth certificate, so therefore, it's been a big question mark. I never knew that. No, mama. because he didn't do that because I didn't put his name on that. Mm. And so... I put you in my... I put you in my name. Okay. Well, Nakai, you've held back a lot of information. I'm just getting it, too. My, I put her in my, in my maiden name. My maiden name is Drake. So, Dolores, I need to ask you this, you know, because your sister stated that she felt a little bit put off when a couple of days after reconnecting with Nakai and her assertion that she was your biological sister, she then asked for money and help. Have you also been asked to provide help or money as well? No, ma'am. And so your relationship is just about a sisterly bond? Yes, (laughs) ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And after hearing this statement from her mother... It doesn't change your mind about whether you share a father or not? No. You still believe she is your biological sister? Yes, I do, Your Honor. All right. I don't need to ask you, Ms. London, because I can see from the look on your face that your doubts were only magnified from that telephone interview. Yes, very much so. Like Um, I say, Your Honor, I came all this far. I'm letting you know what I knew. First of all, like, to be honest with you, before this all came about, I've never been questioned about this. I can only go by with what people are telling me as well. Mind well, you. Wouldn't you want to know? I mean, if of somebody course, came to I you, you a stranger... Exactly, you I would want to know. stranger to me. So if but I'm a stranger to, to you, you. You're a stranger to me, to but you're you. a stranger to well, someone let's, else. Well, let's also you're... put things in context. Because before we beat her over the head with that she didn't say this and she didn't say that... What has been consistent about the testimony is this all occurred when she was... was a child. Zero to seven. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's also state that, you know, for a person, we do this every day, it's somewhat... Some people feel embarrassed to say that they have all of this going on and they just want to lean on what they feel is the, the sturdiest piece of information. Right. And so I think that's where we were in this case. But the best part is is we're able to get to the truth through the DNA. Exactly. And we have that for you yeah. right now. Jerome, may I be okay. envelope, please? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Neil London, We performed a DNA test with his surviving children, Kimberly London and Dolores London. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between Nakai Drake and Kimberly and Dolores London. In the case of London versus Drake, when it comes to 38-year-old Nakai Drake, It has been determined by this court. The percentage of relatedness between Nakai Drake and Kimberly and Dolores London is 
0.00% you are not related. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It's okay. It's all right. We know the truth and we can move on, okay? We know the truth and we will. We'll be just fine. We'll be good. Ms. Drake, I know that was not what you were hoping to hear nor expecting to hear. Yes, Your Honor. But it was important for you to know the truth. Yes, Your Honor. As I heard you testify to the medical challenges you've been facing, it's important for you to understand and know who your biological father is. We have counseling and resources for you all. Take advantage of it. Talk through it. Figure out where to go from here. And if you need us, yes, we've got you. Yes, I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>